is a budget of five billion eight hundred million dollars over the next two years. He says this will require raising taxes to bring in an additional three hundred seven million dollars. Of this, he expects to get one hundred fifty nine million from raising the general sales tax up to three and a half percent from its current three percent. Some twenty seven million from raising the sales tax on automobiles up to three and a half percent. Another twenty eight million from raising the franchise tax from two seventy five to three and a quarter. Another fifty four million from raising the cigarette tax from eleven to fourteen cents a pack, and another forty million from including liquor in the general sales tax. The legislative response to this proposal was mixed, but the governor seemed most concerned about political disharmony in this special 30-day session. The end of his speech and the climax of it was a call for cooperation and harmony. What you think of my program is not as important as what you think of your own responsibilities. What you think of me personally does not really matter. It is only when we allow personalities to cloud issues and personal prejudice to warp judgment that personal attitudes can do harm to the public interest. It might be well, in view of some of the things that have been written and said about my relationships with the Speaker of the House and the President of the Senate, to disclaim once and for all any thought or concern that these able, dedicated young leaders will not do everything in their power to bring this session to a prompt and a successful climax. We are all three serving in a capacity to make statements and to take positions. It would be a miracle if we never happened to differ, but it is wrong to intimate that these differences are based on any personal considerations, I am confident that I will have their cooperation as they will have mine. There is no way that a man in a place of leadership can ensure himself against criticism, nor should there be. There is no way he can silence the personal privileged speech or censor the reproachful press release. There is, there is still such a thing as free speech. At the same time, I believe we can all be big enough to set aside personal feelings to get this job done. The governor's door will be open to each of you at all times, all day and into the night. I will work with you. I want your help. I pledge you mine. What was the reaction? Speaker of the House Gus Mutcher reacted favorably. He said he wants to get to work on it today. I'd like to see an appropriation bill come out of committee maybe today or tomorrow. I'd like to see us pass one before the end of the week. I'd like to see the revenue and tax measure discussed in committee this week, worked on in subcommittee this weekend, and possibly be debated on the floor of the House prior to the uh, beginning of the second weekend. Lieutenant Governor Ben Barnes, while seeming to favor the program generally, has some reservations about the applicability of the sales tax to legislative favor. And I pledge him my cooperation. I think harmony is very important in this session. We have a little over 30 days to write a budget and pass a tax bill before the end of this fiscal year. And I think it's important for me and for all the other members of the legislature to work together to make sure the governor's program not only gets a fair hearing, but that it's passed during the next 30 days. What uh, particularly did you have to design for the Mariner shot? The most special part of the design for the Mariner shot is this very thin little red blob in the front of the tube, which allows the Mariner camera to operate in a very slow mode. It allows the thing to take one picture every 42 seconds instead of one picture every 1 30th of a second, as a usual television camera does. 
Well, then are you an electrical engineer? No, I'm a chemist, and I'm not sure that has too much to do with this, but then being an electrical engineer doesn't either, so. In other words, it was a chemical breakthrough that you designed primarily. Yes, that's right. Where, what university did you attend in? I went to SMU in Dallas. And the runs, if they work, they send out that they cannot make their schedules without speeding, and some of them says they can't make them with the speeding. And we have, uh, they're, they're adding bus stops, they're adding the signal lights and lights, and all of that takes more time. And we have several lines that they have detours, and we've had some lines that has two or three detours. The guy's name is Alan Case, and he may hold a world record for commuting. He lives in Dallas and works in Hollywood. You might remember him best, if the name doesn't ring an immediate bell, as the star in the television series, The Deputy. He's back in his hometown, Dallas now, starring in the title role of Destry at the State Fair Music Hall. Those are some of the faces of Alan Case, actor, businessman, designer, architect. This is Tommy Ayers reporting for Channel 8 News.